about an hour drive still on the North Shore. And we'll be setting up the tent, getting ready. We were here actually two years ago and they were doing the construction on the campground while we were here. So this will be interesting to see how it looks. 29, here we go. Full sun. All right, here's our campsite. Just regular fire pit, picnic table. Our tent's gonna go right here. Got some room over here for the kids to play around. This campground is somewhat new. I think it opened last year, I wanna say in 2022. Maybe it was 2021. So there's not too much grown in, um, so we don't got too much shade, but luckily it's only 70 degrees and they'll get down to 55 overnight. So it should be perfect. Okay, we got the tent all set up. This is an eight person dome with a screened in one. Me and Amber used to camp in this all the time before we had kids on the sandbar. Here's a little screened in area. Got some stuff storage here. And then we got two queen beds set up on the inside here. We're gonna go check out the shore and the lighthouse. We're staying at Split Rock Lighthouse State Park. I don't know if I said that already. And then we're gonna be checking out Gooseberry Falls also tomorrow. So lots of exploring. See if the kids can keep up. How many cheeseburgers you have earlier? Goodness. Uh, five. Whoa, crunches. Five. Uh, one. Ready, up, two. <laughs> Going to check out the water. Theo, do you remember being here when you were like one and a half? Great spot right here to have a cookout. We might have our breakfast here tomorrow. There it is. Got the whole place to ourselves. Usually this place is booming. All right, we can keep on hiking. Check out some more areas. Oh. Scenic shots this trip. Pretty peaceful. Oh, gotta make it up here more often. It's just tough when it's a five hour drive. So Split Rock has these carden sites that are more close to the water, but they're not electric, obviously. But super cool little tent area up there. Bear box, fire pit, picnic table. Beautiful view to have a cup of joe in the morning. Back out to the main area. We were gonna walk across camp up there, backpack camp, but. Theo said no go. He didn't want to work that hard. You swim across? Well, well. I would have if you would have. All right, one quick little last look before we head on back to the site and start making dinner. A little breezy now, so hopefully it's not too bad on the audio, but 5.45 right now. Still got some things to do back at the site and we don't want to be cooking in the dark. 
Just getting back to the site. Big boy's gonna go lay down. The rocks took it out of him. Okay, we got that fire rolling. We're gonna get some coals going. And then we're doing something that we really enjoy tonight for for a camp meal, and that is foil packet. It's like a Cajun shrimp foil packet with potatoes, onions, mushrooms, shrimp, corn, corn green peppers, it looks like, green beans. green beans, just a bunch of stuff put together and a Cajun seasoning with shrimp, and it turns out awesome. That's all right. Okay, we got everything on the pile. Try and wrap it up. Usually double wrap the bottom initially. Kind of work it as you feel. We got it mainly sealed here and then we're gonna do one more. There we go. gonna do everything and whatever you don't eat daddy will eat you got a little hey, friend bud? at the campsite bud yeah what's his name i'm a dog let's call him ruby call him what call him ruby got a little bit of everything corn shrimp onions green beans and mushrooms potato bomb jiggity all right, pretty good. Very good. Nice and easy, a little bit of prep, but everything's fresh. Yes, yes, yes. About eight o'clock, we're getting glow sticks going. Turned out to be a beautiful night. Might get a little sunset. She is quiet, just what we like. All right, we're all settled in bed. Gonna call it quits about 9.30. See you guys in the morning. Excuse me. <laughs> oh boy. Well, we slept pretty decent last night. A couple times we had to wake up. Got a little chilly, not too bad. Kids are up and at it. We're gonna make some coffee, make some breakfast. We got eggs and venison bacon, classic. And then we got a lot of hiking to do today. A lot of walking. We'll see if it's hiking. Yesterday was a little bit of incline up and down, huh? <laughs> Good.
Hey, we decided that Gooseberry Falls is so close that we're gonna run over there this morning and do our hiking before it gets too hot and exploring. And then we'll come back and take down the tent. All right, Gooseberry Falls. First stop, going to, going to check out all the falls quick. First, before it gets busy with people, and then we're gonna go down to the water area. Shoreline. Is there a bear in there? Huh? Is it nice and cold? Heading down to the lower falls area. Oh yeah. yeah. Big little cave hey, up there. Yeah, this was not like this last time. This is super cool now. Yeah, there was like little cave pockets. Didn't find any trout. You did. Beautiful spot here. You had to walk out to get here. We're living on the edge. Going down further. Taking a little break right now, sitting on the rocks right by the falls. <clears throat> There's a little secondary holding spot, and then it goes down to falls again around the bend there. Boy, is this pretty cool or what? Yeah. What you eating? Taking a break in the shade. Yeah. Getting some protein-packed muffin break. We gotta fuel up. Oh my. Oh yeah. Miguel, you must have got a little tight. Yeah, it looks like you got something going on. Yeah, Is he just chilling in the rocks oh, over there? Yeah, yeah, I just moved over as I started walking. Heading down to uh, the shoreline now. Try to find some agates. Not sure if this is agate beach or not, but we're trying to find some. Not any good with my rocks. Are you? That one's cool. All right, cool spot over here to end the Gooseberry Falls visit. We start heading back. What do we get? We got Split Rock. Split Rock State Park. That one's cool. Mm-hmm. And then gooseberry. Yeah, it's too bad they didn't like a waterfall one, but oh well. Time to go get the tent packed up. All right, there we go. Got the site all picked up, got the car loaded up. We are heading over to my parents' cabin now, but that's gonna do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Super fun little vacation for us, uh, checking out the North Shore area and beautiful scenery. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I was saying, thanks y'all for watching. Take care.